Good evening, everyone, and you are very welcome to this very important presentation that will hopefully give you, the parents of our wonderful boys, a good understanding of the campus development programme, the benefits that it is delivering to your sons, who are the most important element in the school, and the plans that we hope to implement over the next three years or so. My name is James Doherty, and it's a privilege to be principal of Willow Park Junior School. I am also joined by Mr Johnny O'Shea, Head of Development across both Willow Park Schools and Black Rock College. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we hope to present our vision for the campus and showcase how the boys, the most important element, will benefit from this investment. Our commitment to delivering a world-class environment where your sons can learn, grow and develop is a continuation of the work that started in earnest in 2006 when the campus master plan was drawn up. In the years since, we have invested more than 40 million euro into upgrading existing facilities and infrastructure and in constructing ambitious new capital projects that are delivering hugely impactful benefits to all pupils, right from junior infants in Willow Park to sixth year in Blackrock College. None of these projects would have been possible, however, without the support of our community of donors. Parents and past pupils have led from the front on these earlier campaigns, and we are eternally grateful for their support. We don't receive any funding from the state, but we don't carry any debt for our capital projects, and that's thanks largely to the generosity of our donors. The first significant project completed under the Campus Development Programme was the Senior Wing in 2007. Since then, we have overseen the full refurbishment of the Willow Park Junior School, a new indoor sports centre, a modernised learning centre in the college, and most recently the all-weather playing pitch and Willow Park first year building extension. The impact that these new facilities are delivering on a daily basis is quite profound. The senior wing, a three-storey building on the college side of the campus, is home to the senior science department, and includes a floor for both the fifth and sixth year pupils. We made full use of the space that was created when we demolished this old structure, uh, and that had been in place for, for uh, many, many years, and it has allowed us to use the quadrangle to host high capacity events and gatherings. The senior science department is benefiting from five modern and spacious laboratories. And that's important because it's ensuring that the number of pupils studying the science subjects at leaving cert level is high. You will be for all familiar with the magnificent buildings that we have and in Willow Park Junior School. My colleagues and I are so grateful to be able to teach your sons in what I believe to be the best teaching facility of this type in Ireland. An abundance of space and light helps us as educators to do our jobs, our jobs in a safe and secure environment. The 26 classrooms that we have are all self-contained and this promotes positive learning and this results in happy, motivated staff and that results in happy, motivated boys within the junior school. The sports hall is providing new sporting opportunities to boys across the three schools. Many of your sons will have experienced cricket training in the sports hall. We also have badminton, indoor soccer and basketball, and they are played here during PE classes and after school, primarily by Black Rock College pupils. Um, on the mezzanine floor, we have a fully stocked gym and weights area, and that's open to the senior cycle boys in the college. In 2013, we renovated the Black Rock College Library to make more use of what is now a very vibrant space. The Digital Learning Centre, as it is now called, promotes collaborative learning, debating, project work, and we use this facility for guest lectures and event launches. Finally, as you can see, the all-weather pitch, now nearly two years in situ, has proved hugely popular with the boys in the junior school who are getting to play, for example, soccer, rounders, tip rugby, and various PE activities on the pitch. It's a great example of the utilisation of a shared space by all pupils not only from junior infants to sixth form in the junior school, but from first year to sixth year in the college. And as you can see, we also have a new first year extension, and it is a most welcome addition to this side of the campus. More than 200 boys are getting to use the new units within this building. 
you have, as you can see, an ICC, ICT suite, which I think is crucially important for 21st century learning. We are rightly proud and delighted with the environment across the 57 acres of land that we use, but we are also keenly aware that if we were to stand still, we would quickly find time outpacing us. We believe that the campus of 2020, although it is fit for purpose for the class of 2020, it will not be for the class of 2025. As such, we are committed to using this space at our disposal to deliver positive change for our current and future pupils. Over the next three years or so, we aim to complete phase five of the campus development programme. The first two, two stages of this work have been completed and our focus is now very much on the traffic infrastructure and the playing and recreational space on the upper block of the campus. This will include work on widening Willow Avenue, connecting Willow Park with Black Rock College, introducing new roadways, remodelling the upper block of playing pitches, thus eliminating a nine metre incline on this bank of land, investing in existing and new changing facilities, and improving entry points to the campus. Since the midterm break, we have, and I have to thank parents, we have attempted to tackle the traffic issues that have arisen in recent months. What we need to bear in mind at this point is the impact of the wider COVID-19 related societal restrictions that have ultimately led to a reduction in the number of pupils using public transport to and from school, the fall off in carpooling and the school runs due to families not wishing to have boys from other households in their family cars. This is perfectly understandable and indeed very responsible action. It is increasing the number of cars, however, on our campus every morning, and we are trying to ease this pressure, leading us to make these decisions in recent weeks. We sincerely urge all parents to desist from turning right onto the Rock Road, either out of the Black Rock Gate or the Willow Park Gate after they drop off the boys in their classes. It is causing tailbacks along Willow Avenue and beyond. We have invested in an additional resource to man the Willow Gate, encourage parents to, and guardians to turn left out of that gate, but we sincerely need your compliance and support to, to help alleviate the pressure on our roads. We have also painted yellow boxes on the roundabout and have introduced a two-way system in front of the reception area, so please adhere to these boxes and the two-way system in action. We are excited to announce that Willow Avenue, linking the two sides of the campus, will be widened at the end of this academic year. The work will be completed before the start of the 2020-2021 academic year. As you can see, new pedestrian crossings will be located along the avenue and the existing pedestrian crossing at the Willow Park end will be upgraded. And more importantly, as you can see, there is a path there for the boys to walk. The avenue will be widened by 1.3 metres, so this will increase from 4.2 metres to 5.5. I will hold off on the jays about the avenue now being able to cater for two 4x4 four four cars. The groundwork for the remodelling of the upper block of playing pitches will commence in March of next year. This project will take up to two years to complete and it will see the delivery of a two-tiered playing area housing three rugby pitches and a soccer pitch on the top tier and one rugby pitch on the lower tier. The existing playing pitches on that parcel of land are in real need of development and we now have planning permission to get this work done. We will of course keep you informed over the coming months of the staging of this work and any disruptions that you as parents uh, might have to endure for that period of time. Our community of donors, which is comprised primarily of parents and of past pupils, have been massively generous to us in previous fundraising campaigns. We appreciate the added challenges that COVID-19 has brought on so many households, but we do ask you to consider supporting our work in whatever way you feel you can. The cost of completing phase five of the campus development programme is 10 million euro. We have so far raised nearly three million of that, which has enabled us to complete the all weather playing pitch and the first year extension. This is the first two stages of our phase five. 
You can join our community of donors by visiting the development section of the Willow Park or Blackrock College websites and following the subheadings to make a donation. It's a very simple process. We have an online donations platform where donors can sign up to a standing order commitment or make a once off donation. Um, now we, uh, as in the Blackrock College and Willow Park Development Fund, um, have charitable status in Ireland. And this means that personal donations at or above 250 euro per annum qualify for tax rebates as charitable donations. So your donation can be added to by almost 45% simply by completing a form to certify that you have made a donation. For example, for every 1,000 euro that we receive from a tax paying donor, we can reclaim an additional 449 euro 94 cent just by submitting a completed CHY3 or CHY4 form. You can see by this table just how beneficial this is to our fund. Corporate donors can benefit from 12.5% tax relief on all donations to the development fund, thus reducing the total commitment by the benefactor or business making the donation. For donors wishing to join our lead donor circle, we have a board in Blackrock College that lists the names of those who have delivered major gifts to previous campaigns. So we ask that you consider what you have learned this evening and reflect on the challenges we face in funding this programme of activity. Where you can, can, where you can, we would love to have your support, either through a standing order commitment or by a once off gift. Please feel free to contact Johnny O'Shea in the development office to discuss your gift in confidence. As a campus, we are absolutely committed to ensuring that the learning and development environment for the boys is the best that it can be. With your help, we can make it so. Finally, thank you all for attending and I look forward with confidence to working together with you all and making this vision a reality. Good morning.